Sports Report. Hi, good evening everybody. The Sin Pirates are on the big stage tonight, taking on Argyle in the Class 4A state championship game up at Dish Falk Field in Austin. It does not get any bigger than this. Let's get you the highlights, get you caught up on all the action. Look at the big crowd from sitting on hand tonight, and they had to love what they saw because Wyatt Viatek was uh, sensational on the mound. Big strikeout here. And the big crowd loved that as well. He also got some great defensive support tonight as well. Here's a fly ball to left, and that's a nice catch at left field by that's Caden McCoy, who comes up with it. Already up 2 0 in the third. This is Braden Brown. Line drive, RBI single. And this is going to open the floodgates because it's highlight after highlight. Caden McCoy with a blast to center field. Over the center fielder's head, all the way to the wall, he falls down. This winds up being a two RBI triple, six nothing Pirates, and the route was on. That's Marco Gonzalez, ground ball. Watch him beat the throw at first with the head first slide. Great hustle there, and then Blake Mitchell's going to follow. There he is. That's a two RBI double again to center field. He can't hold on to the baseball here. A Pirates score seven runs in the third, and the route was on. So let's fast forward now to the top of the seven, two outs. Here's your final out of the ball game. And that's it. Let's listen in. Oh, you got to love that. Sitting Pirates win it. Final score, 9 nothing, and then your Class 4A state champions. And, of course, with more, uh, the Pirates winning the state championship. Let's go live to Patrick Johnstone, who has more on this very special night for sitting baseball. Patrick? That's right, Alan. June 6, 2002. That was the last time the Sinton Pirates were state champions, but today they win with a 9-0 win and you know it was great to see the crowd was going wild the kids were loving it there was a dog pile at second base and actually the tournament MVP goes to Caden McCoy with that uh, hit that you have seen in the highlights and afterwards all the kids went up to their fans and up to their family members in the stands and we actually caught first baseman and pitcher Jaquay Stewart going up to his mom and I asked him what did he say to his mom and take a listen to what he said I told her I loved her. I mean, what is it like without your mom here, you know? I'm, I'm just going to say I'm a, I'm a mama's boy. I'll do anything for my mom, you know? Um, but she's, you know, through thick and thin, I got her. She has me, and she's done everything for me, so I have to give a shout-out to her. And shout-out to mom indeed. Sinton Pirates, your Class 4A state champions. First time in 20 years. First time in these kids' lifetimes that the Pirates have been state champions. And... They're going out on top and we'll be back here tomorrow up in Round Rock for the London Pirates. They're hoping to do the same thing, the second Pirates team. For now, reporting live in Austin, Patrick Johnstone, Chris X News. All right, Patrick, thank you so much. Now, this was a scene over at Ranchero's restaurant in Sinton earlier tonight. They hosted a watch party. I was there, had a man, a whole lot of people showed up to watch, and it was packed. Lots of Pirate fans cheering their team on this evening. It was a great atmosphere, and what made the event even better? We got to watch the game in air conditioning. You can't beat that, right? I want to thank the, the staff at Ranchero's for their great hospitality tonight. They were super. Now for the London Pirates, they're hoping to repeat sentence success tomorrow with a win of their own. Fans, teachers, classmates, and even some area first responders gave the team a rousing send off this morning. And we, of course, wish them the absolute very best. And as Patrick mentioned, we're going to be there tomorrow, bright and early, 9 a.m. as they take on the Gunter Tigers. We'll have your full coverage starting on the noon show tomorrow. And then we'll have all your highlights and post game comments on our four or five. 6 and 10 o'clock broadcast tomorrow night, and we will be right back.